back to the Rose Reports YouTube channel, you might see a smile on my face. When you see Barney soon, you'll see a smile on his face because it's May time. It is May. It's currently Friday, the 26th of May, 2023. And we have signed a striker, ladies and gentlemen. When was the last time we signed a striker this early? I never know. But Barney, now Lennis, he is now a Blackburn Rovers player. Well, in the next 48 hours, he should be a Blackburn Rovers player. What's your thoughts on it all? I think it's very good news. Very good news. When we were talking about strikers in the last video, we probably said Tom Cannon was the one we wanted the most. But if you can get Niall Ennis, it's it's free. You know, it's the Blackman Blackman board aren't going to be stupid about this. They're going to get try get a free striker that that puts up good numbers and and basically I don't want to say it's a light for light, but he's very very similar in his play style and his pressing numbers to Diaz. And I think it's 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 such a good thing moving forward that not only we've it's not as though we found the Diaz replacement. It means that we found a, a piece of the puzzle moving forward that solves the problem that Diaz left when he left. So I think it's very good for Blackburn. I think some of the underlying things that we'll go into in a bit, he, he's just it just looks very good for now. Yeah, and as, as you can see, all of you now, we both rushed this. We both got out of bed. We were having a lazy Friday. We're out of bed. We rushed to get this done. But, you know, now, Lennis, let's talk a bit more about his style of play. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and be a professional who pretends I've seen him twenty four seven. He's the best thing since sliced bread. Definitely not. But what I do know is he is that left winger who can go into the striker position when needed to. And you know, like like you said before, Barney, that is exactly what Diaz did for us. And you know, that's where a lot of our goals came from. That left wing cutting inside, and we still need that. We need that as a, a an option. And if you see some of the goals he scored for Plymouth, you see how he cuts him from the left. And I was watching some highlights before about him. I'm not. I don't think he's the most clinical person in the world. I've seen a few of the, the chances he's also missed, but. He does bring a lot of energy to the team. He's very fast and he likes a little bit of trickery as well. And you know what? I've said this before. I love a winger that runs at people. I love a winger that knows when to pass the ball. This is it with Tyrese Dolan. Love it. He runs at people, passing the ball. He doesn't know when to. You look at Nile He's got a few assists in his locker as well. This man knows when it's a little bit too much. He knows how to lay the ball off. And if we get a through and through striker in, I feel like he could be the best support on the left ever. But if we have to give him a go up front, I, I won't put him past putting a shift in the championship. What do you think, Barney? I think I'd agree with you very much. He, he he does both the roles of he's basically more like a light Diaz, if you get what I mean. He he can he can do the job of Diaz, but he also is very good at running at people and taking them on. And I think you need that. If if we're gonna go into his st stats, he started half of his games. So he played 38 games and started half from the bench. And I think I think that's what's so impressive about his numbers, because he only has around one thousand eight hundred minutes. But if you look at his uh, goals and assists per 90, it's 0 0.38. If you can get a player that's putting up 0 0.38 goals and assists in the championship, you've got a very good player in your hands. And of course, it's a step up. Everyone knows that. But if you look at Blackburn's history and you look at the players that have come from League One level, they, they normally are, are part, such an like, integral part of our team one season, two seasons after. Think of Rothwell, you think of Dad. You know, and I think I think it's a very good sign. I think it's a very good sign that not only we've been able to attract a player like this, who, by the way, is in our same league, who's going to be play, would have been playing against us if he stayed at Plymouth. I think I think it's also a very good thing that we're. I, I don't. I'm not going to say Diaz leaving is a good thing. I'm saying that it's good that we've replaced him in a way because it allows us to have so many more options going forward. And I think this is going to be one of our main options going forward now in the coming season. Yeah, and like you said, the, a player taking a risk like he has, because don't don't forget, like you just said, the, he is going to be competing in the same league next year if he stayed at Plymouth. And we all know we've seen some people who bounce up into the championship and get in the playoffs straight away. You know, this guy could be kicking himself at the end of the season. But if he's ready to take a risk like he has done, he must see something special about our, our future. And like you said, the Diaz leaving, I think, in a way, it could be good because people look at that and go, I want to take Diaz's role. I want to be that person who, you know, is worth 22 million, gets all the highlights. He's on Sky Sports Real every single other day because he's this big player. And, you know, I think that could attract a lot of people. But, you know, now, Ennis, I want to know one thing from you. I'm going to give my opinion now. Do I think he's going to be a massive part of our success next year? If there is any, hopefully there is. But any any chance in playing a part in this playoff push next year? I'm going to give you an answer now, 100%. 24 years old, Plymouth wanted him to stay. Plymouth fans wanted him to stay. Last time I remember the fans so desperate for someone wanting to stay was Dom Hyam. And look at the shift he has put in 
You know, it's unreal. I think that they obviously see something special that we still yet need to see. But I think that next year, I think we could be seeing probably more assists than goals. But I think that he'll play a very key part. What do you think, Barney? I think he's going to play a very integral part going forward. I think with his age, with his role, we need, we needed attackers, basically. And I think normally when you talk about an attacker coming in, you're normally talking about uh, someone under threat, someone... Someone that doesn't have a someone that's going to be moved out of the team, and necessarily, I think even though he replaces that Diaz role, I think he'll put more pressure on Dolan, which I think is a good thing because Dolan's being a bit iffy right at the moment, not signing that new contract and stalling negotiations. But I think, I think he's very deadly, Ennis, and I think if you have him maybe on one wing, hedges on another with with Dolan, I think it's a very good attack going forward. So I'm looking, I'm looking to the future, and it's it's looking good. Yeah, and like you said there about Dole and big news about him before as well came out this morning. He won't know about his Barney. He's only just got up, but um, apparently there, there's some uh very convincing signs. He's gonna he's gonna put pen to paper for a four year contract. Now it went from not being too positive to now he uh he could be signing the four year contract. Um, the problem was apparently no agent, but we don't know. At the end of the day, we're getting players in that are gonna challenge him. We'll get the best out of Dole and as well as other players as well. Now I think I think Sober Thomas. A lot of fans wanted him, and I'm I'm quite happy we don't get him. Back. Back. I think that you know the the energy was there. I just feel like with a lot of stuff that was apparently getting said behind the scenes, and also some of the performances on the pitch, there was also a lot of better options out there. If we didn't get Ennis over the line, maybe Thomas was an option. But I'm happy with the Ennis deal. Welcome to Blackburn Rose, Ennis. And you know, let's just let's just hope. As as Rich Sharp said before, it's one of four players that I've met with JDT and Greg Broughton so far. So the other other three, absolutely mysterious, but. If it's as quick as the negotiations have gone with Ennis, then we could be signing four before he even before he even hits midway through June. And he's sticking to his word, Broughton. I think there's been a couple of things he's not to stick to his word with. And I think this season he wants to make sure he gets all these deals done by the end of June, like he said. And I think you're going to get a lot of happy fan, like fan bases getting behind you now. And I, I like to say that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Again, Barney, thanks for joining us for this. No worries. Thank you for having me yeah. at this early hour. As always, it's a pleasure. We we pulled him out of bed. We had to get the professional intake on it all. But guys, thanks for watching. It's positive sign. One of four. Comment down below who you think the other three players are. And make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Take care. Hey, enjoy your weekend. We've signed the striker blues.